good afternoon as part of the today's session we are going to discuss furthermore about the real time application that we discussed in our previous session so for which as part of this particular project so here are the two terminologies that we need to consider customer is going to be surendra we means as an organization assume that surendra has given this project to infosys organization and if at all i am referring we means the group of developers the testers and the business analyst and the project architect scrum master who all are working for that particular project all comes under we itself and we are going to use zira as our project management tool in order to develop this particular website and as we are using an agile methodology this project a complete development will be delivered into multiple releases release 1 has a certain functionalities release 2 has a certain functionalities 3 4 5 so on individual releases has some set of a functionalities considering that we already have a scope for this release 1 and assume that only first 10 requirements related to student are going to be a part of this release okay consider that whatever the first 10 requirements are there for the student portal only those things are going to be as part of the release one for about a two months or a three months of duration and whenever we are using an agile methodology by default there are certain terminologies that you need to consider as part of a scrum so the first one here is a sprint grooming the next one is a sprint planning right sprint grooming sprint planning scrum calls and a sprint retrospectives right the sprint retrospectives followed by a sprint demos so these are the high level activities right these are the high level activities basically whatever we are going to do as part of this particular project right so grooming i know that grooming means basically as part of this grooming everyone in a project will be joining the call and they will get a high level insights about the individual requirements planning means the scrum master will prepare a detailed plan for the sprint duration what are all the things the individual resources are going to work the scrum master will do a detailed planning scrum call every day each and every resource will be joining the call and they will be explaining about the individual task whatever they have completed if they have any blockers they will be discussing them and as well as the retros means would be conducted at the end of an every sprint what went well what went wrong who did a best who did an awesome job in this sprint everything will be discussed as part of a retros and they will be documenting them and finally the sprint demos means what are all the features we have developed as part of that sprint we will be giving a demonstration to the customer to get an early feedback from the customer usually these are the regular sprint activities so what i am going to do right now means i have a created a zira trial account and on that particular account itself whatever the requirements that we discussed sometime before in a previous call all those requirements i moved it here as part of a product backlog so backlog here means basically all the set of requirements will be listed down here if you consider a best example is you that you are studying an engineering student basically you are an engineering student if you if you use the terminology as a backlog means whatever the subjects were already there which weren't not passed from you and you were left as part of a backlog right the same way here the backlogs would be a complete set of a user requirements we are going to list down as part of an agile terminology complete set of a user requirements and assume that before there is a sprint planning call within the testing team everyone assume that in this organization there are about a three testers who are working for this project maybe the testers are tester 1 ramya okay tester 1 ramya tester 2 sneha and tester 3 sudha okay assume that these are the three resources the three testers who are working for this particular project so what they will do means before the sprint planning call they will conduct an internal meeting 
they will discuss what exactly the individual requirements are there. They will try to get a more insights on that. And if at all any questions are there, they will list down the questions. And of course, before the sprint planning call itself, they will be preparing a high level estimation from their end. A high level estimation itself means basically how many hours you need to completely test that particular story. So the completely testing itself means basically the analysis, the design, and the execution, all those things would be considered. So here, in the sprint planning call, we as a testers need to provide our estimation with respect to the story points. So here is a quick glimpse of how exactly the story points look like. If it is a one story pointer, it's going to be a one hour. If it is a two story pointer, it's going to be a one to two hours. If it is a three story point, it's going to be a four to eight hours of effort. If it is a five story pointer, then it's going to be eight to 24 hours of work. And if it is an eight story pointer, then it's going to be 24 hours to 40 hours of work. And if it is a 13 pointer, basically 40 to 60 hours of effort would be involved like that. These are all the various story points that we are going to give for individual requirements. Whatever the individual requirements are there, we are going to give these many story points as part of a sprint planning. So if you see here, consider that create a sprint. So I have a created. So this activity would be created by the scrum master itself. Okay, this activity would be created by the Scrum Master itself. They have a created a new sprint. Okay, they have a created a new sprint. So here, student homepage content would be working as part of a sprint one story. Header navigation would be considered as part of a sprint one. And the homepage sliders. So these are the three stories that they were trying to complete as part of the first 10 days, which is a sprint one. So here the Scrum Master would click on the start sprint and he will mention the start date of the sprint and the end date of a sprint and the overall duration for the sprint, maybe the two weeks of a sprint duration. So what is the goal of this particular sprint? By end of the sprint, all these three requirements should be completed. Then hit the start sprint. And whenever the sprint got started, this is how the sprint board looks like. So this is how the sprint board looks like. So we as a testers need to be focused more on a testing activities. Irrespective of the methodologies, whatever we are using, we need to focus on our testing activities. If you remember, all the testing activities would be under STLC, Software Testing Lifecycle. For every release on a release level, the STLC means test planning, analysis, design, execution, and a closure. The planning would be conducted on a release level. The closure would be conducted on a release level. For each and every individual story, you need to do these three activities, analysis, design, and an execution. Analysis means, first of all, open the requirement, study about it, try to understand that if you have uh, any questions, just list down those uh, questions and uh, get clarity on those requirements, okay? And get clarity on those requirements. And then next design phase. As part of the design phase, we will create test cases. In the traditional approach, we use it to create our test cases in an Excel file and then which needs to be executed. As we are using Zira, we are going to use a test management tool, which is a Zephyr squad. Whatever the test cases you are going to create, all those test cases would be designed in a Zephyr squad itself. And finally, once you got a confirmation from the developer, then whatever the individual test cases are there, you will pick those test cases, you will execute those test cases. If at all any failures are there, you will log a defect for those failures and we will follow that particular process. So this activity, which is analysis, design, execution, is the activity that it is carried out on all the individual requirements, whatever we have. 
and additionally as part of a sprint what we are going to do means once after we are done with the re uh, designing part we will be conducting a review meeting with the team where whatever the test cases you have prepared you will conduct an internal review and you will get a review feedback from the business analyst to see whether we have covered all the scenarios or not if not uh, based on their feedback we will update the test cases as well this is the process one in the next session we will see how are we going to do an analysis part and then the execution and as well as sorry the design and an execution that we will continue as part of the next session thank you goodbye